punch you. Go to sleep. Smack him in the back of the head. And show him who's boss. Show him who's boss. Yeah, guys, that's that's basically for that, man. Like, trying to deal with that. Went to therapy today. Therapy went well. I think that's the most I've talked in therapy since started. Therapy is only an hour long, but it went by pretty fast. I was actually um motor mouth today which normally is not the case but i actually had some real deep stuff to talk about so kind of makes sense i was more uh talkative uh if you see me with the red hoodie on this actually has my brand logo on it so Interested in supporting the channel, you're more than welcome to grab a hoodie or a t-shirt if you like. Security chest. And I'm about to punch you in the mouth. So... Yeah, guys, like I said, just trying to stay busy doing pretty much whatever I can to stay engaged. That way I'm not um, thinking too much about it. Yeah. But enough, enough of the sad stuff. Let's get to why you guys are here. Need some good Star Wars content, right? Hey, King, can you hear me all right, bro? I'm really hoping everybody is doing good today. Wednesday, they was, uh, it's low, but yeah. Uh, shouldn't be low. Like, I got my mic turned up. This doesn't sound like FF1. <laughs> No, Isaac, it doesn't. Hey, how's that for the volume? Is that better? Uh, talk more? Yeah, but just trying to get through it, guys. Like, Losing a loved one is never easy, so, and people, people say it is a grieving period, and I believe it. Yes, definitely better. Okay, awesome. And just having to go through it, basically it. I'm about to punch you. Get big. But yeah, guys, I actually got one of the hoodies from my store on today. So if you guys like it, you can think about supporting the channel. I use it to upgrade stuff. Like I spent um, a few hours this weekend messing with my sound because people were saying they could hear me breathing and everything in my videos. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me do and the clicking coming in clear as a bell Most of the power is being drawn to the administrative complex of the Balmoran arms factory. The barrage must be there Thank you for your assistance Just doing my job now you have to do yours. I've got commander Maydeen on hold for you if we don't meet again For Balmora's sake. I hope we do Looks like we were both hard at work You've got the barrage's location. 
I've got Dr. Karsiri. Good thing, too. The Barrager lab's been fortified beyond recognition. I don't know if the Empire's aware that it took the Barrager research along with its designers, but I'm on a new, incredibly short leash. The Empire's made Darth Minax our overseer. She was a slave driver before. I'm closing but the now, store. Talk to you later, bro. Hi, right, Isaac. Take care, bro. Thanks for stopping by. Guess I can put myself on that list right now. I'm close to being out of myself. There's only so many times I can pretend to need tools. The Empire's turned this lab into a fortress, and your hack is useless if you can't get inside. I take it you have a plan in mind? The approach to the lab has been equipped with new Durasteel locks. The codes are kept on file at Imperial security stations throughout the factory. You'll need to get the codes from each security station, then input them at access control. The lab door should be unlocked when you arrive. You've done your part, Doctor. I don't want you caught in the crossfire. Darth Minax would know I left for a reason. I can't risk that. Not when you've come so far. Doctor. Doctor Karsiri. The sooner you get to the Barrager lab, the sooner we can help you. Keep this comm channel open. I'll do what I can to guide you. Get going. Man, he's talking about guiding me. Like, give me. Look, man, he's talking about guiding me through the complex and everything. Why don't you give me another squad? Hey yeah, guys, if you guys are enjoying the stream, it means a lot if you guys would follow. Uh, we are working on building up a community on Discord. I have a couple of different channels, and I'm trying to get my face, man. And what I'm trying to do is make it more friendly towards everybody. Give some, give everybody. A little, a little bit of um, something for basically something for everybody. That's what that's what I was going for. Good news, sir. Oh yay! Now I have not been crafting, which is totally unlike me. I've just been gathering resources, and I'm hoping that I will be able to go. Craft crazy. Um, next time I hit a shop, that is my overall goal. Technically, we could have been off this planet, but I want to finish the story mission. And honestly, I I think the doctor may have got caught. If a Sith is overseeing him, I don't I don't see pulling. Too much over on them. If you do, you are a one either really good at your job or just incredibly lucky. Either one of those. Uh, you just can't count your blessings. Because you, you need to have that lucky rabbit's foot with you. You want to see <laughs> you want to see the next day so who are you are right, a smuggler i got your back bro <laughs> trying to take out my legs you trying to go low take out my legs i don't i told you i done told you Oh, you have too much cells. Alright, there we go. Go. Go night night. Where am I going at? I am going straight ahead. 
Here I come. I am cinnamon. Well, I could have got past these guys without fighting, but where's the fun of that? Should just stay down, buddy. I was hoping the smuggler was coming with. Me. Oh well. Yeah, guys, you are more than welcome to come join me in the fun. I got this. The server that I play on um, in the description. So, like I said, you guys are more than welcome to. I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you decide that you want to be Jedi or um, Mandalorian. Mandalorians are pretty dope. But to be perfectly honest, I don't think a a regular trooper is going to be able to take a Mandalorian. That's not me being biased or anything. It's just the level of training. You're talking, so you're talking about a soldier. Normally, we're going to say probably anywhere from... 16 to 50. But probably didn't start training until they was. In their late teens. Where a Mandalorian has been training since pretty much birth. Well, not birth. Since it was a kid. So. They already got a leg up. Oh, look. Is that the. Yep. That's him. In my way. Ah. No. I see. Why was I playing like this yesterday? This would have came in handy. Uh. Hopefully, we can um save the doctor. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully we can save the doctor. If we can't. I thank him for all that he's done for the Republic. Well, for this mission anyway. And the commander could at least gave us some type of backup. Even if we are supposedly the best of the best. Get my face. Every trooper. Every trooper, you're dead. You're about to meet your maker. Go to sleep. <laughs> Guys, if you see me keep grabbing my nose, it's because of all the pollen from the day. So I am congested and everything else. You don't, have, you don't know who you're messing with, buddy. Ah, go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. Sucks to suck, right? Face. I don't warn you. Get in my way, I'm gonna mow you down. I feel no uh <laughs> I don't feel bad. You guys are the enemy. And and you are in my way. So I do not feel bad about Mowing you down. 
Uh, two for one. Yep. The Republic has arrived. You've been expecting me. You've stolen the barrage of research and a very specific set of prisoners. It's almost like you wanted to meet me. How flattering. I'll free Dr. Carceri and stand down. It's the victors who give the orders. And with the Barrager, we will win Balmora. You don't want Balmora. You know as well as I do that the Barrager will destroy us. It consumes a planet's resources until there's nothing left to defend. Barrager will win Balmora, all right. And leave it a complete wasteland. Are you positive of this? Mass produce the Barrager, and the Empire would never be defeated. We have to destroy it. You're a fine, upstanding citizen of the Republic, Victor. And you deserve your reward. Ah, oh, this is... Ah! Oh. already sacrificed so much to help us complete the Barrager. I couldn't possibly let you take it now. You are dead, lady. Try it, if you dare. <laughs> yes, Acolyte. Oh, you're a... Ah, you're an Inquisitor. Now, normally I would say... We would not... Ow. Yeah, how you like being stunned? Trifling. <laughs> Trifling woman. I was hoping there was going to be a cutscene. Oh, it's a blessing and a curse. I heard everything. Is Dr. Carceri... He's dead, sir. The Sith's blade struck true. It won't be in vain. The Barrage is to take control. The Empire will never set foot on a Republic-protected world again. Didn't you hear what Dr. Karsiri said? The Barrager will suck Balmora dry. What makes you say that? The Barrager draws power from every resource the host planet has. You'll stop an Imperial fleet, but you'll destroy what you're trying to protect. We have to make sacrifices for the greater good. Balmoras could prevent another Telos, Paris, or Coruscant. Pay a heavy price for the Barrager's protection. We have to use it. This was Dr. Carceri's dying wish. He wouldn't have helped you otherwise. Please. The Barrager must be destroyed. I'm with him. If the Barrager destroys the planet, there's, there's no reason to even protect it at that point. Yeah, there's going to be lives lost, but if you turn a planet into a barren wasteland, it's not worth it. I came here to protect Balmora. I'll hold this way for nothing. But you have to. As always, the Republic will clean up the mess. The Barrage self-destruct sequence latched onto a bunch of subsystems. This whole lab's gonna blow. Yeah, I can I couldn't bring myself to do it. Yeah, if it's if it's gonna destroy the planet, then there's no no reason. At least that's that's in my mind. That's that's what I'm thinking about. So you would literally abandon well it says from the entire planet resources. I get that to help me out just a little bit. Ah, uh, there we go. Get out of here.
Like, gotta talk to the commander. If I remember right, a commander rank is Navy. If I remember right. It might be Marine. Not as familiar with them. But if you guys know, let me know. That drop will probably kill me. You've achieved incredible results. Uh, punching this guy in the back of the head. Nothing feels better. Jordan. Get my face, buddy. I was about to say, like, I killed you. Die. So why won't you just die? So, guys, I'm thinking about adding... Um, a challenge point button where I will um, sing a cadence. Uh, but I wanted to see what you guys would think about that. Uh, hey, Kill Cam. Hey, how you doing, brother? You got to jump in the shower? Okay, I got you. Uh... But yeah, guys, getting getting back into this and um, talking with y'all, that's that's gonna help me a long way, and I really do appreciate the support everybody has given to me um, along the way. So I I really do appreciate that. I do not want anybody to think that I take that for granted or what have you. Let's sleep. Go to sleep, bud. Try to warn you. You didn't want to listen. No button. I need to get back to it there. This. I got my dog sleeping in the next room. Like he refused to come <laughs> spend any more time with me. But now I'm over here drinking cranberry juice. Can't go wrong with cranberry juice. Sell the trash. Go and go sell the trash. Gone. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah, I heard about the prototype weapons. You think giving them back makes up for years of Republic mistakes? I don't have any agenda. The weapons belong on Dalmora. Yeah, right. Vic is probably the only reason you're leaving the prototypes. He understood what Balmora's been through. I could always tell. I don't care what you think, Arden. I've got places to be. Yeah, I'll bet you do. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. Good luck in the battle for Balmora, Arden. Oh, uh, yeah, he's a... Things were just showboating. Try to try to hang with us since the Imperials still have stockpiles here. We need two squads up on the Goran Plateau. You're back. We're in the middle of final troop deployment. The Empire's lost, but they're attacking on their way out. 
I don't think you realize what you've done. If we had the Barrager, the Imperials wouldn't have fired another shot. I signed on to protect the Republic, including allies like Balmora. I wanted to give the Republic the best shot I could at defeating the Empire. You were there when the Empire attacked Coruscant? They came out of nowhere, and we couldn't do anything about it. The Empire invaded Balmora. I promised myself that it would end here. Can you blame me? You're trying to beat your enemy, not be them. I... I know. Fast and easy never won a war. I fooled myself into thinking this could be different. I'm glad it was you making the call and not me. When you spend your life fighting, it's easy to forget why. You secured the Barrager, stormed the Gorinth Brig, freed Sobrik. The Republic is completely in your debt. The Empire has to learn that independent worlds aren't theirs to take. Balmora's been an effective lesson. If war breaks out, the Republic will be ready. There's a lot of work ahead. But Balmora's free. That's what's important. Good luck to you. Even a Havoc squad to learn from a veteran. Anything for me? Alright, now we have to go use my ship Holocom. Get out of Dodge. We did our duties, man. It's time to get out of here. It's time to go home. Well, not home, but time to head to the next next road. Glory to the Republic. All right. Yep, and go see. Now we got Vic, and I already don't like him. Were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. I'm glad to hear it. Tano Vic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326. Codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Vic's a liar. He's reckless and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. The squad has to have the best explosives expert available. That's Vic. Just don't say I didn't warn you, sir. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the gauntlet. Havoc squad is needed immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, code named Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Kresh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the gauntlet without them. Surely this isn't the only platoon we have that can crack a bunker. Of course not. But the operation calls for the best men available, and these men are the best. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. Why are the Republic's forces fighting on Quesh, General? Quesh is the only source of a rare chemical used to produce powerful adrenals. The Republic is fighting to maintain control of this resource. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. Okay. That 